Hello friends, it is I, Self-Critical Automaton. Let us continue. I really need to get around to making a custom title card so I can start putting these up on, uh, up on YouTube. So, last time we beat a boss that gave us this Ground Slam ability. There's a couple places we can explore from here. There's a few places gated by darkness, and we now have the lantern, and we also... There's a couple of places where there were ground smashable pla bit bits that we could smash with the ground smash ability, but I'm not sure entirely where they are, so... Instead of... Uh, instead of relentlessly rummaging through every room that we've previously seen, I am going to go to the place that I absolutely know is accessible. Hi, Wuxroof. Which is the Creepy Crystal Mines. Nobody minds the Creepy Crystals. We all think they're fine. Not the way to go. I say, still going that way. Hmm, yeah, so I don't have whatever it is that unlocks this weird cable car yet. <clears throat> ah, see, this was one of the dark zones. Since I found it, I'll explore it. Looks like this might lead to the same crystal mine. Crystal for you? No, crystal mine. This must be where you land when you do the ground pound. I wonder what the point of that was then. Does that mean I opened up like a tiny shortcut? Oh, I can attack these. Interesting. I thought that I couldn't. <clears throat> Nobody likes to deal with ranged attacks that have an arc. This is a universal rule. So people like to use them, nobody wants to have to deal with it. Oh, 
I like train infrastructure in that respect, actually. Right. Indestructible laser beetles, of course. We've all had to deal with such things in our lives. There must be some kind of extra long jump. I've suspected this for a while. Or maybe a double air dash that will unlock. to scale the mountain. I've heard tale of a summit way up there. Too far for me, though, and I'm not really one for heights. I jabbed myself on one of those crystals back there. Awful sharp they are, and all over the place. You'd best watch yourself if you're heading up. Hmm, so I guess this is a... a vertical ascent rather than a... Well, I guess it's always vertical, but we're ascending rather than descending. How do I get up there? Which means, logically, that I should retreat back down to the bottom. simply gracefully accept my death. That's always an option as well. I think a big cartoon beetle would be a good pet. Assuming it wasn't sentient like this guy, in which case it would not be a good pet. But it might be a good friend. I'll go in this way this time, because I do want to see what the difference is. Oh, it would help if I had some soul. There was a there was a way, there was a, a space to one side. I'll have to go back up again. I I absolutely positively have to uncover every secret. This is my curse.
Now, now what the fuck are you? Ah, lovely. How delicious and not at all disgusting and horrible. Love to collect rancid egg. mechanics introduced in this area very quickly. I'm also going to be even quieter than on my usual chill streams because my lungs hurt a lot. Wow. Extreme danger bug. Do these ever break? Oh, I have to smash them. shake the feeling I missed an unlockable item somewhere. Would you look at that? I didn't die. Is this a mausoleum? Cursed are those who turn against the king. That seems likely. This is indeed a whole ass graveyard. I can assume with a slot for some kind of pass. This is the other side! Aha! <clears throat> Although it does does look like this is supposed to be a uh, a beetle tram location, and there does not seem to be a beetle tram to, you know, rescue me and help me escape from this tragic pile of corpses I have fallen into. Appropriate as that may or may not be for myself, who may or may not be a shambling corpse. Ooh, ominous. To protect the vessel, the dreamers lay sleeping. Monomon the teacher, in her archive, surrounded by fog and mist. Lurien the watcher, in his spire watching over the city. Hera the beast, in her den, amidst the deep darkness beyond the kingdom. Through their devotion, Hallownest lasts eternal. Dreamer locations added to map. Okay, so I guess these are the... Go no further, little shadow. What compels its climb out of the darkness? What compels its return to this sacred kingdom? A call from beyond the seals? By the vessel or that captive light? Would the seals break? They cannot be undone. But the vessel weakens. That plague springs anew. They must be undone. 
Yet our seals remain. Our duty holds. It must be cast away. Our duty holds. It shall be done. Fade away, little shadow. Fade away and let us sleep in peace. Intriguing. This is the first time we haven't been treated with animosity for our inescapable compulsion to return to the, the centre of the city. Although it seems like they've bottled this place up to keep trapped something terrible. But are we supposed... Are we being drawn by the terrible thing to release it, or are we a separate mechanism that unfortunately would have that effect? What a terrible fate they've visited upon you. To cast you away into this space between body and soul. Will you accept their judgement and fade slowly away? Or will you take the weapon before you and cut your way out of this sad forgotten dream? Well, I think I'm probably going to cut my way out of this sad forgotten dream on the grounds that otherwise the stream would end here. Dream Nail. Charge and slash with the nail, cut through the veil between dreams and waking. You've returned. Welcome back to the waking world. Those figures, those dreamers, they reached out with what little power they still have and dragged you to that hidden place. But that talisman you now wield, the dream nail, it can cut through the veil that separates the waking world from our dreams. Even the dreamers themselves cannot hide from such a weapon. Though I must admit, the sacred blade has dulled over time. Together, perhaps, we can restore its power. You have only to bring me essence. Essence, the precious fragments of light that dreams are made of. Collect it wherever you find it and bring it to me. Once we have enough, we can work wonders together. Go out into the world, wielder. Hunt down the essence that lingers there. So... I find myself wondering... Uh, there's, I think, four DLC packs that you get with the game. Or four free updates, rather. Each of which add story content, but aren't, like, entirely... Each of which adds story content, but aren't entirely separate things. It's not that you go to the DLC zone and experience a side story. They're sort of woven into the main thing, to some extent, I think. But as someone who didn't exactly play all the previous versions and then come back, I don't for sure know. So I don't really have any way of knowing what's part of the original main plot and what's a new addition. I do love a good evocative piano piece. Very soulsy. The idea of life and dreams and 
Life and death and waking and dreams and the fading between one and the other. It feels very Dark Souls 2. Kind of makes me want to replay that game. It's the only FromSoft game that I have that I've only ever played once. Dream Shield. Defensive charm once wielded by a tribe that could shape dreams. Which I guess is the moths. Conjures a shield that follow follows the bearer and attempts to protect them. So I guess that uh, that... So the three dreamers protecting the city cast me out to try and protect the city from me and put me in the dream world and then that moth specifically brought me back. Sorry I missed you. If you're feeling lost, why not pop up to our store in Dirtmouth and purchase a map? Hmm. It's weird that I missed him this time. Was it... I wonder if it was possible to get here without going through the mechanism I took and thereby find corner for naturally. I do want to buy a map though. Never saw a map I didn't want to buy. can even afford it. I'm actually really low on cash. Ah, <sighs> Everything was fine. Also, whispering root pins. And warrior's grave pins. Hmm. I suppose the warrior's grave pins were unlocked by the resting area? The resting land, whatever it was called? And the other one... I would guess was unlocked by the weird tree thingies. Although I had found those trees previously and been like, huh, interesting. I wonder what these are for. And now I know. Oh, this is where they cursed me. I wonder if they'll do it again. No. Not willing to let me make my own way out this time. Where's the dream nail? Oh look, one of them's in the City of Tears. So I thought the Black Egg had something to do with keeping this place trapped, and the Black Egg itself had three sigils on its... on its surface. But maybe that's unrelated. Maybe the Black Egg is to do with the Hollow Knight? Who's also up to something in some way? Stop there. Those who try to leave this kingdom are cursed. Better to rest here until time itself sleeps. Hope and freedom. I thought that strength alone would grant me these things. In my dreams I would cut the plague with my nails, and then I turned my weapons upon the king. When I awoke in this sacred place I began to understand. Those who hope are already doomed. Do you still hope, wanderer? Will you flee, or will you raise your weapon and doom us both? Huh, I guess... I can challenge this guy. This, this feels DLC-y, like bonus bosses. Ow. This guy's gonna kick my ass. Yeah. 
For personal reasons, I find I must slaughter a ghost. It's just like real life. be able to beat him actually if I try again. Oh, this was the station. Oh, there's nowhere else for me to go in this zone. Although I should be able to get up. Did I arrive here from falling? I must have done. You think I could remember things I did five minutes ago? See now, those who turn against the king are doomed as soon as they raise their weapon. Do not call me a traitor, simply call me a fool. I know you will not flee. Wherever you go, I will be watching. Ghost's gonna ghost, I guess. See, I fell down somewhere, and after I fell down there, I ended up here. But there may have been an intermediary step. See, I think I fell on these guys, right? No, wait, but there's no hole in their ceiling. There has to be a way to get to the hole in the ceiling above the other room. Returned. Let me look at the dream nail. 
Already you've collected a hundred essence. Quick work. Things come naturally to you, don't they? No wonder the dreamers tried to bury you in that old dream. Perhaps you frightened them. Or perhaps being prisoners themselves, they desired your company. In any case, you have a long way to go. Take this old trinket as encouragement for me, and then return when you've collected 200. Oh, hello, Nest Seal. That's nothing. You and the Dream Nail both seem sharper, but you still have a long way to go. This kingdom is full of old memories, both beautiful and grotesque. Seek them out, reveal them, and gather essence. So I guess... Hmm, did I smash this with that? No. Hmm. Well, the only way out is to go via the... Uh, kindly old beetle, then. Weird. Well, the other way to go and get out is via the cable car, but I can't go via the cable car because I don't have a cable car license or whatever. Let's see. Oh, hang on, no, there was a there was a down smashy bit as well. I could try smashing that. What did she give me? Oh wait, no, she gave me a she gave me one of these, which, as far as I can tell, have on the only purpose is to sell to the historian. There's also there's also an up path in here. Which is what made me wonder if I if I got in here by falling. Because I did fall in the first place. Ah, well I guess that isn't how I get down. Ah, I thought for sure that was that. Maybe you maybe you can only go from underneath? I don't have enough soul to smash now. Tragic, really. Oh, this is smashy. Hmm, the other room definitely had a, an out path, though. single room with a level one bug for me to wail on just to get a bit more soul. Oh? There's one of the... Aha! Yes! Okay, great. These ones look less phallic. Presumably that up path is how we get back once being down here in the horrible, disgusting and evil sounding grave zone. Buddy, are you okay? He is not okay. And I won't be either at this rate. worm noise. I detect worm sign. He thought he had me then. Oh, I, re 
recognize the snail shaman? Where did I meet him? Soul Eater. Forgotten shaman artifact used to draw soul from living creatures. That one could be pretty useful. I might need more pegs. Oh, bad place. I think that's a new record for the amount of times I've died in one of these streams. journal. I look like one of the mining bugs from the mine. Poor bastard must have gotten really lost. He discovered a rich vein of corpses. Desirable to necromancers, but not really anyone else, and necromancers don't pay well. Too much cheap zombie labour. trying to use the spin attack on them. Oh, hello. This seems awfully familiar. My god! I've never had to face anyone who was clever enough to deal with my secret master attack, attack from above. My ability which to defeat any foe. <laughs> I'm sure I can take him. Okay, two hits. Okay, bait a, uh, bait a slash and then get the drop on him. That's probably the way to go. Ghost, I would like to fight you first, please. a better way to do this. 
And I also, I'm going to need to switch off my Discord noises, which I thought I had done. There we go. I used to get uh, I used to get complaints when I first started streaming because people would get be like, oh, I kept thought I th kept thinking I was getting messages. And I wasn't. Makes him do two slashes as opposed to one. Jesus. I got ghosted again. This guy's tougher than most of the bosses. What the hell? Can't lay a finger on him. I don't need to fight this guy, but I feel like he'll drop a lot of money. On the other hand, do I need money? I can simply leave. Hit the bricks. Ooh, blue lake. Will this hurt me? It does not hurt me. Oh my god, I can swim. Okay, so this... this... This certains it. I absolutely can get an upgrade that'll let me go through poison water later. I'm I'm extremely certain of that now. Damn, whose heart is that? Is that the heart in the background? That's huge. Ah, what a calm place. It's action I want, vicious and deadly battle. This serenity's a bore. So peaceful, so dull. He's the one who told me to meet him in the arena. Which is very... Meet me at 6pm outside the party city for an ass weapon of him. How do I get up there? There's a noise. Oh, it's her! So that's where this is. Interesting. Highly curious. I can't get back up there though now, which is unfortunate. Long nail extends your reach. Shaman stone. Uh, makes spells more stronger? I need more... Oh, I need more money so that I can buy that. 
Oh, focusing faster would be really useful. Well, I would like to come back for some of these. When I have more money. Let's see, I can't get back up there, which is frustrating. I'll have to go the long way around. Hmm. What's the point in having the cable car go to resting grounds, though? When you can go via the fast travel. I really want to go activate that lift from the uh, resting grounds, though. Whenever life is giving you a hard time, go get a lift. I don't know what that means. Service is terrible. I've been waiting hours for my ride. It's not true, actually. Having lived in... Well, I guess only one city with major mass transit, but... Having lived in London, I have to say... That, uh... London Underground ain't got nothing on this guy. So Blue Lake is part of this. Right, the left is only Blue Lake, but I do want to go activate that left. Oh wow, right on the other side. City of Tears is huge. I think that's the biggest zone I've seen so far. I think these guys are like old ass nobles. path leading. Actually, this is probably part of just like a long exploration of the rest of this uh, zone. I could try and work my way back a bit. I say this a lot, but that was hardly my finest hour. Yeah, there's definitely a parry mechanic, but I don't know if it prevents me from taking damage or if it just does extra damage. Another Wanderer's Journal. I suppose I could just go in- oh fuck. I suppose I could just go and uh, hand in all of my 
valuables to the historian all at God damn it, all at once. I keep thinking that this this black bar here is the is the edge, not the window behind it. Dead nobility. They're the only ones who seem to express fear ever. Although they do instantaneously throw down like everybody else. King's Station. We had Queen's Station previously on the other side, so that stands to reason. Big man. This is the only outdoor looking station, although obviously it's still in a cavern. Occurred to me, I haven't had talked to him in ages. Many stag stations have been opened. Again, I can travel the breadth of the kingdom. So many grand thoroughfares and odd sideways I'd forgotten. Somewhere amongst the lines lies the stag nest, the place where I was born and raised. I thought its location lost to my failing mind, but now I can almost remember the path. If you keep opening stag stations and beckoning me through them, perhaps I'll find that nest. Ah, I would like that very much. Little one, we stand in the King's Station. Named, of course, for the King of Hallownest, he who ordered the building of the Stagways and Stations. The King never rode the Stagways himself, but I've heard he was a glorious bug to behold. Bright and radiant in visage, so much so it hurt to look at him. switch somewhere to open this. Oh, who busted up the bench? And the station. It's the first time we've seen one be damaged at all. And here I thought it was inviolable. Interesting. I wonder if there were different lines, because these are two stations at the same... I mean, this is all King Station, but in Queen Station there was only one... It was the same size and shape, but there was only one entryway. Only one actual... Uh, stag Beetle access. Whereas this has two stacked on top of each other. these guys whichever height you access this area from. I'd like to try and get back across so that I can hand in all of my various uh, trinkets and gigors and doodads and looted treasures and so on. That's only a treasure chest, so it can't be that complicated to get in there. There's probably something obvious that I'm not spotting. Oh hi Trokantase. Yeah. I've uh, I've made it through these zones. Not all of them are fully explored, but I have reached the City of Tears and discovered that there's three load bearing bosses I need to defeat. Uh, in order to do something. A mysterious and ambiguous purpose 
for which I am endlessly drawn towards the centre, the heart of this ancient city. Some kind of mystical, divine purpose, perhaps? Liable to betray me in the end, as they always are? Have you played this, Trokantase? I suppose it's just occurred to me, I've just walked into these people's house and randomly murdered them. But in my defence, they are zombies who will come back to life. And I need their treasure more than they do. ton of hit points on this one. I mean, I do also hate the rich. Like, I don't know that I don't know that home invasions and stealing their loose changes is is meaningful practice. Um, ah, see, I have not played this before, and I did not know there were different endings that could be achieved, bad end or otherwise. We live and learn. We grow and discover. We refuse to fight this guy because he sucks. Literally the only fight I haven't taken and won so far. Bosses, mini bosses, I don't give a shit. I'll fight anybody. <laughs> but not those guys. Aha, yet another lift. This, uh, this place is lousy with the damn things. As I said, lousy with the damn things. side entrances here. Oops. I thought that wood was stand honourable, but it was not in fact stand honourable. That's definitely longer than the distance I can dash, so I expect at some point I will unlock the ability to do two dashes. That would explain several long jumps that I don't think I can possibly make as of yet. And I hope busted this lift. These lifts are a public good. Doesn't help anyone if you smash them all up.
Oh, fuck. A lot of really good sound effects in Hollow Knight. There's a lot of... Uh, it does a good, very good... Uh, very good line of pleasing chimes. Um, and a very satisfying number of... Uh, I guess adorable, squibbly little creature noises. I still don't know what this icon means. Feels bad down here. Feels oogie. Feels... Feels grimy. Huh, concerning. That's... Right, I only had one hit point left. One day I'll stop throwing myself uh, carelessly into terrible dangers. And remember to look at my uh, look at my hit points before I decide to do any such thing. But today is not that day. Today is the day of adventure and cool guy, cool guy behavior. As only the coolest of little dudes will thoughtlessly hurl themselves into oblivion for no point. fight my own spooky ghost for the umpteenth time you know what they say though pride ghost before a fall so this is like just an infinite expanse of crawling writhing beasts I wonder if they're the ones at fault for the vast swarms of, of roly-poly bug corpses that are at the surface and also various parts of the inner, uh, inner zones of this place. I promise I'm decent at this game, I'm not terrible. Has, this place has like black mana magic card energy. Yes, I have been playing a lot of Magic the Gathering. this, I wonder. At the moment, I've discovered about 15 zones to explore, and I haven't picked any of them. I'm just wandering around. Oh, this is another rail pass slot, I guess. Fair few of those around. Yeah, I don't think I'm ready to explore this zone yet. I don't think it's a problem, it's just I've got too much on my plate. Ah, oh, the ancient basin. My grandmother had one of those in her bathroom. I think I would like to pick one zone and explore it instead of discovering 
an army of different zones and getting lost. Which has been my current... Well, not lost. I always know where I am, but... Let's see. Right, okay. I'm going to go to the librarian. The, the archivist, whatever his name is. The historian. Uh... And I'll be a, I'll go to him and be like, excuse me, I would like all of your money, please. And he'll be like, okay, do you have all of the artifacts? And I'll say, yes, yes, I have all of the artifacts. And he'll say, this seems like most of the artifacts, and therefore I will give you most of the money. And then I will take that money, and I will spend it on various goods and services. And after I've done that... I'll pick a zone of the several zones I have available to explore at the moment, and then I will explore it more fully than I have been. Because we're currently in currently in the City of Tears. We've also got... I mean, there's bits of the Fungal Wastes I haven't seen. There's bits of the Green Path I can now access with the Wall Jump and the Ground Pound. Howling Close I haven't explored basically at all. Uh, Crystal Peak I've barely explored at all. The resting grounds have some weird stuff going on, and the City of Tears is just huge, and I've barely scratched the surface. And then in addition to the City of Tears, there's also the sewery place underneath that I can access if I go use a key. And some other places that I, I don't really know from yet. I always start to get my ass beat when I get hubristic. I always get used to being able to utterly slaughter weak enemies and then they, uh... I get complacent and that's when they hurt me. Aha! Fountain of the Hollow Knight, which is this guy. Who has the same icon on his statue as the forgotten- as the icon on there that goes to the Black Egg. But the black egg had three faces on it, which presumably matches the three load-bearing bosses. Maybe that means that the black egg is sealed by their power in some way. In the black vault far above, through its sacrifice, Hallowness lasts eternal. Seems like maybe a bad thing to release. Oh, this is the this is the sewer zone. I may as well unlock it while I'm here. Oh, there, architect. Architect? No, the other thing. Archivist. Me, I might not offer a lot for each, but they're plentiful about the caverns, and I doubt you'll find another willing to make the trade for Geo. Me, <sighs> oh, Paul. Yes, yes, I'll add it to the pile with the others. Don't know when I'll decide for this one. It's long, hard work translating the many languages of the bugs that explore these caverns. Me, <sighs> oh, Paul. You've a knack for finding these. Corpses must be frequent on your journey. No doubt your nails created many more. Velmi Arthur. Boris son? Gian. This journal is of traditional stone type. Text endures well upon it. In its declining age, the city switched from stone to parchment woven of spider silk. It's a small tragedy, but the moisture in these towers has rendered most of those texts illegible. Velmi Arthur. A hollow nest seal. Hmm? Very interesting. Do you know of the kingdom's five great knights? They're revered figures of hollow nest, often mentioned in the annals of the kingdom, but only as a group. Both their names and appearance appear to have been expunged from history. So long has passed since their time. It'd be a grand achievement to discover their identities. Velmi Ardred. <sighs> oh, Paul. Another seal handed over. I enjoy collecting their like, but there's little information to be gleaned of each. Mind you, they do keep a nice shine about them, and there's nothing wrong with appreciating something purely on aesthetic merits. Velmi I heartily agree. 
Velmi Arthur. Hello, Nest Seal. Do you have anything else for me? If not, get your damned little self out of my home. Velmi Arthur. Warra's son? Gian. Others have told me there's a statue out by the city's entrance depicting a large knightly figure. Could be one of the kingdom's great five. I'd have looked it over myself, but the gate's long been shut tight and it's too much hassle taking you the long way round, round without all those blasted husks about. Velmi Arthur. Warra's son? Yep, that's Gian. another seal, alright. The shop will be overflowing with the things soon. Ha! I'd never have guessed so many would still be lying around. If they're as common as you make them seem, maybe I've been offering you too much for them. Helma Delka. It's grumpier than I expected when considering I brought him everything he asked for. Right, okay. So Right, well I'm gonna go okay, first I'm gonna go see if I can upgrade my upgrade my nail any further. I'm gonna go get my nails dead. And then Assuming I don't die like a chump at some point on the way. Like that guy. <laughs> uh, I will probably go to the uh, trinkets vendor and go get myself some more trinket slots. About it, there's a few different repetitions of this egg, this three piece egg shape. But that core egg is always the same in pretty much every, every repeated piece of ironwork in the entire kingdom has it. But they have different little addenda on top. I wonder if that represents the three divine figures who are keeping this place safe, or presumably in stasis. Ah. Ranjo's danger. Oh, he needs pale ore this time to upgrade my nail. I expect I bet I find that in the in the crystal cave. That's really what I'll find up there. And I suspect what I'll find in the sewer place is an upgrade that will let me pass through poison. Although that's total speculation on my part. where I'll get the double dash, which I'm almost certain that there is somewhere. If some guy's a pain in the ass, hit the bricks. You can simply leave. You do not need to agree to fight every cursed zombie that you happen to walk past. Especially not with four grand in your pocket. This is good advice for real life as well, as anyone who's met a street necromancer. Uh, can attest. Where am I going? Oh yeah, up. from all over the kingdom were transported here. Not a lot sent back the other way. Again, another little hint of the possibly colonialist history of this mysterious and mystical city. Try saying that three times fast. Hmm. 
main thing I want to spend money on at the moment is general upgrades, but... Oh, actually, I'm going to go up to the surface yeah, first, sure. and then once I buy everything on the surface that I want, I'll come back down. And get myself another, another trinket nook. Trinket notch? Whatever they're called. Always worth getting started on another mask. you get when you finish a soul vessel. Like, it's easy to just add another mask to the list of masks. I've already got, you know, you start with five and then you get more. That makes sense. But the, the soul orb seems to take up so much space already. There's so many NPCs I want to revisit and I can't remember where barely any of them are. Studio Ghibli character. I do want to. <laughs> I do want to take this course of herbal supplements that will make my nail longer. Uh, I also want quick focus. If I have enough, there's no reason not to also get this one. Which means I only need one more before I can get the next notch. Now, who else has thingies for sale? The surface guy does. Not sure if there's any other NPCs that do. Ooh, a warrior. The pink things all seem to relate to the, the dream stuff. I wonder if the dream is a something that's been added later. Because I know there's four there's four DLCs to the game and I have no idea. Or not DLCs. There's four like content updates, and I think there's story content stuff as well as just, like, other stuff. So I don't know if it's, like, woven into the main thing, or if there's, like, a bonus zone, which is the... the update zone. And if it is woven into the same stuff, it's kind of hard to tell what is and isn't the original story. Considering how little of a... how little direction you're given, generally. I was told to seek Hallow Nest, and I found Hallow Nest. Uh, and then I was pretty much told to go to what the fuck I like, so I guess I'll go to Crystal Peak, because that's where I feel like going. That's this way. I've been told that this bug over here is kind of like patches, but she seems so cute and adorable. I can't imagine that she would hurt me in some way. Then again, the same is true of patches. Let's 
interesting. I was exploring the Crystal Peak and I went over there and fell down a hole to the resting grounds. I was right, that is how I got to the resting grounds. Right, so there's Crystal Peak, then in the resting grounds there's some stuff, maybe? And there's loads of stuff to explore in the City of Tears, and there's a new zone below the City of Tears. There's some stuff I've missed in the Fungal Wastes, and then there's a new zone accessed from the Fungal Wastes. And there's some stuff I missed in Green Path, and I haven't explored Howling Cliffs. Okay. Wait, I should spend the rest of my money. I wonder... Wow, what is there even to spend it on? I suppose I could go get the breakable... There was a guy who sold, like, breakable trinkets. Go bother him for some. Oh, that's right. Okay, so I couldn't... I tried to jump across here and failed, and that's how I fell down into the resting grounds. Okay, so I have to come back here when I've got... Double dash? Which was, uh... I want to say a GameCube title, but I think it was the Wii Mario... Uh... Mario Kart. No, oh, I'm sure it was. Yeah, GameCube. Hell yeah, I thought so. I loved my GameCube so much. Alas, it is long gone. Is that? Oh, okay, that's a full. That's blocked. Okay, hmm, I guess I have to come from above. Speaking of Super Mario, these guys have Hammer Brothers energy, and I wish they didn't. Things I do for adorable little worm creatures. Ah, fuck. I'm 
Okay. I don't want to die in pursuit of this noble goal, so I'm going to rest and then come back and try and see if I can get up there. Oh, I missed this before. <laughs> I don't want to die in pursuit of this noble goal, so instead I will die in pursuit of money. <laughs> Come on, Jimmy Twinkles. Don't try to use my own moves invent against me. I invented those moves, by which I mean I stole them from someone I slaughtered. Ow. this for another filthy egg. Wait, that leads here? Man, I for real thought that was going to lead to, like, the other side of a worm. Oh, fuck off. I came here to have a good time and I feel so attacked right now. I feel like it should at least hurt it when I reflect those through it. I think those are shaping up to be my least favourite enemy in the game. How do I help you? You're welcome. Oh, the laser bugs. Forgot about these guys. Yeah, that ain't happening. Yet more evidence of some kind of double dash being available at some kind of point.
come on. My dash distance is a very... is exactly the wrong length for this. Oh, while I'm here, I should look at adding something new. I have exactly one notch left, so I can only have a one notch thing attached, I think. Yeah. Do I have any one notch? I have Grub Song, which gains me soul when I'm damaged. Steady Body prevents knockback, but I already have that equipped. Spell Twister, Balder Shell, Spore Shroom. When focusing, I do a DOT, Quick Focus, Lifeblood Heart, and Dream Shield. So no, I will have to remove something. The compass and Steady Body, Dash Master, Gathering Swarm. I like all of these too much. They're too useful. I need to get more notches. I need Buenos notches. deal with this, with these guys. Husk miners. Remains of a bug drawn to the crystal peak for precious crystal. The bugs of Hallow Nest lusted after the strangest things in life. They would dig furtively through the dirt for stone ore and in particular the crystals that grow at the top of the world. Now why is it the top of the world if it's literally underground? I may not be great at topology, but I, even I can see that there's a flaw in the logic there. God damn it. All right, well, I guess that one gets to just stay in there. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. come back when I've got my hit points. Ooh, now that's an interesting looking corpse. Or statue. There's not much difference with bugs.
Okay, for real? I for real don't think I can get through these. Is there a faster dodge later? Tilty. I'm definitely getting more clumsy. Is my ghost for real? They put my ghost on the other side of the challenge that I died trying to overcome. That seems unfair. No way out. Uh, I don't like this place. Maybe I'll come back to the crystal mine later. I think that's what I'll do. I'll go hang out in the mandatory sewer level. from here is probably just to go back to the crossroads. I really cannot be asked dealing with these crushes right now. Oh, I could have just gone over those.
I hope we get that one now. I think there was some... S I'm gonna go and find, see if there's some stuff I missed in Green Path. In fact, I know there is some stuff I missed in Green Path. I'm gonna go back to being a big fish in a small pond. Actually, first I'm going to talk to Grandad. I'll see if he has another trinket for me. What's the happy haps, worm daddy? Oh, a rancid egg, lovely. There's probably an NPC that rewards me with cash for those, just like the books and things I found previously. Actually, no, that's listed in the main, the important main items, not in the sellable stuff. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. There's a dark room I can go to, and there's a a smashy downy hole somewhere, and I think there's some double jumpy things. Well, not double jumpy, wall jumpy. Oh. By the way, if anyone's watching and enjoys my content, it's worth knowing that I also have a YouTube channel where I do in-depth Let's Plays. Uh, and if also I archive my streams there eventually. Um, and I have a Patreon and a Ko-fi that people can donate to me to allow me to not freeze to death this winter, which is always extremely appreciated. Uh, and I have a Discord server where I post about upcoming streams, because I don't have much of a schedule at the moment, because I'm pretty ill a lot of the time. And as always, like and subscribe as they say on the YouTube, which is not where this is, but the principle still applies. I've been doing a lot better on this stream about being quiet instead of uh, talking too much. Which is important for the aforementioned I'm sick reason. Ouch. of agony. Lovely. <laughs> Another fine addition to my collection, which is rounding out very nicely at this point. Where did they... Ah, there they are. Ah, cool. Do damage when I take damage. Oh, I can't equip it here. in there. That wasn't the dark zone, though. Uh. 
I wonder if the hunter will reward me for how many uh, how many things I've killed. Well, I feel like the character of the hunter holds, uh, you know, its reward unto itself. Maybe it's just a double jump, not a not a dash, not a double dash. G bill, two dashes. Somewhere, somewhere around here. Maybe he's in the fungal place, actually. Yeah, that's that's my mistake. He's in the fungal place. Ow. Bitch slapped out of my reverie by bug slime. I found this before. From moss and leaf our life is drawn. While it grows upon the path we never wilt. This must be another double jump one. Unless... If I hit this thing in the face? Oh. Does killing it do anything? No, killing it does not do anything useful. In fact, it arguably does something actively detrimental. There is no way for me to get across here. Which means down below is the only other way, I think. I thought for sure there was some other stuff I hadn't seen here. Strange. Easier to go the other way, maybe, maybe not. God damn it, everything here is alive and wants to kill me. I play video games to escape from real life. Normal, normal behaviour. Normal design. Completely normal house to have. Oh, that's right, it was too dark for me to explore here previously. And I didn't want to die on spikes forever. Oh. A ghost to fight. 
My child, can you still see? Please don't hurt me. Can't sleep with your eyes open, little one. Can't dream if you're breathing, little one. Precious children, you speak such loath loathsome things as you sleep. Your claws scratch and scrape. Precious children, a monster has come for us in the dark. Will you sing for me? I'm not going to challenge that just yet. I want to see the rest of this terrain first, and then I'll come back and kick its ghost ass. Oh, fuck. <laughs> or just die like an idiot, you know. See, in Zelda, having a quarter of a heart matters. Can't have a quarter of a mask meaningfully, can you? God damn it. Actually, having a quarter of a mask now that a quarter of a heart now that I think about it doesn't help you until you get all four. Ah well, that's a false equivalencies for you. Fight, fight, fighty time. Haha, <laughs> time is now fight. Maybe beyond me. I beat the other one pretty easily, but or the last one rather. But if every time I get hurt, I'm going to fall in spikes, this might not be ideal. This may be a come back another time type of situation. Especially when I'm so full of money, just stuffed full of money. Ghost downed, and I am out ski. I always forget these guys can jump. Yes, aha. Here, what I needed was my dash, and also to not do that exactly. <laughs> Twice in a row. My performance today has not been up to par.
Ooh. That was definitely worth coming back here. Oh yeah, I'm full of soul. Though once our lands, a pale being lays claim to the caverns ahead. It may appear benevolent, but it does not share our dream. Be wary to wander that place. I wonder who wrote these messages, because these messages seem pretty different to the... Uh, ascended ones, these messages are for you alone messages. How do I get up there? Oh, it must be from the other side of the spike zone. And then we come down this way. I guess I should go to the Fork Canyon, which may or may not be where the guy I'm looking for is. Oh, I can't believe that cost me two hit points. Are you kidding? Such an easy mistake. Anyone could make it. not to get the added benefit of that thing while I still have a nook for it. Jellyfish Town. Which I still have not found the corner for. Because I think he's behind like a weird shadow wall. Which I assume I can only like... Oh hey, if you dunk them in the water they don't explode. Yeah, this thing. I wonder if I get past this thing with something from the weird creepy shadow zone. Or if they can use the dream knife. So I guess that at least implies that I should come back to this zone after I've been to the Ancestral Basin, I guess. Which is fair enough. Oh hey, the banker. I wonder if the banker's still here. 
It seems like such a hassle to come all this way just to go to the bank and back. Surely it's easier to keep your money on you and simply not die. Everyone, everyone's buddy, the giraffe weevil. Still no new texts, no anything, I guess. Maybe I'll run into her somewhere else later. Let's see, there's definitely some stuff I've missed here. Oh look, there's a weird ghost grave thingy. Uh, and some mantis stuff, but I think I probably have to beat the boss there. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna go. Might get interest. Oh, yeah, that's fair. But I mean, I left a bunch of stuff in the bank for a while earlier and I didn't get any interest, so. Uh. Anyway, I don't find sitting around waiting very interesting, so. Ho, 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 ho. Anyway, so to beat the Mantis Lords, I need to get stronger. That's f fair enough. To. What else do I need to do? I can explore the City of Tears. I can go to back to the Crystal Peak, but I don't want to. Uh, there's dotted stuff around. There was the, the Basin Zone below the City of Tears, or below the Resting Grounds, and there was the Sewer Zone. Maybe I should just do the City of Tears. That feels like the next step for where I am. Like, I've explored half of it, and it seems about the right power level for me at the moment. Wait, shit, I completely forgot why I went back to the the mushroom place, which is to buy the goddamn trinkets. Wait. Let's try that again. I am this forgetful in real life as well. It is my sad curse. That must be him up there, near the Forgotten Crossroads. Oh, it would have been faster to go, to go from there, then. Oh well. We're here now. You know, no, we might see some treasure on the way. Give me magical dream orbs when I killed it. I guess maybe some random enemies do, in addition to the trees, of which there is one further down, but I'm not gonna go do that right now. But more important things on my mind. Which is commerce. Oh hey, what's that? Oh, I guess it was something I did dealt with earlier, I guess. I think I need the long the, the double jump to get through there as well. Yeah. Oh no, I don't. Oh, did I get through here earlier? Weird. Must have been Oh yeah, no, I, I climbed up the side and then jumped from the side. That's definitely how platforming works. wrecked. I do like the Waluigi mushrooms. Uh, in fact, when we saw them on the previous streams, I could not stop making the noise. Let's, let's provoke one. Hell, hell yeah. Extremely good noise. I think the second, no, my third favourite noise of the various good noises in this game. The first is obviously the worms. I forget what the second was. Oh no, if I go through there that will hurt me. I 
What's up, my dude? You fucking weird looking freak boy. I assume these only break if I'm wearing them. I have no idea how much the big fat lady wanted for... Wanted for the, uh, these. I'm still sure I can't get through here until I get more poison resistance or something. Hmm. I could try and go fight that ghost. But I'm not gonna. Yeah, there's two notches left for me to buy, I think. But I don't know if I can afford the next one. I probably can. Ooh. Fucking balloon. Ooh. Get popped. I like these transitional rooms between areas where the two aesthetics fade into one another briefly. Now oh, the gossips haven't come back. Never even got to talk to them. I can take a fast travel usefully from here. God damn, she me, she me FR. Except I'm a robot. 1400 for the next one. Although I might not have enough. I might not have enough trinkets to be able to buy it yet. I suppose that's the same, same difference at the moment for me. Right, okay. Which is actually really useful. Where was I going? Oh, the, the... This way. And I can get the train back to where I'm supposed to be. I didn't realise he had things to say about all the different stations. Or well, some of the different stations. Since we saw that one already. Right, okay, so I should explore King's Station from here. And the threshing grounds and the ancient basin. Yeah, okay. So I think that's gonna be it from me today. 
because I've been sitting in this chair for a long time and my butt's getting sore. Fun fact, I really need a proper gaming chair because uh, this thing is absolutely terrible for me and all I do is sit in it all day. So, uh, yeah, so that's going to be it from me for today. Um, thank you so much for watching and also for my any donators on coffee of whom there is at least one recurring one so it's always important to say thank you and that's going to be it from me for today thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this please like subscribe and share i also stream on twitch and i now have a discord server for stream scheduling you can contribute to my existence on ko or patreon and all of those links are in the video description thanks so much for watching